And oh, got it. So anyway, Katie is her sixth year. She is a homeschool mom of three and loves traveling. Fun fact is that she has traveled to all, well, 49 states with her family. So Katie is going to tell us a little bit about her health testimony because she has an amazing health product testimony, and then also a little bit about her business journey with Plexus too. So take it away, Katie. Thank you so much, Leah and Emily for having me tonight. I'm really excited and obviously honored to share with you all. Um, so yeah, this month is my sixth year in Plexus from the time I ordered my first Triflex. So it's a very special um, time because it just helps me remember like why I started and where I was when I started. So my journey with Plexus started about five months after my youngest was born. I had three back-to-back -back kids in like two and a half years, all C-sections, high-risk pregnancies, all the things. And so my body unbeknownst to me was like a hot mess. I had all the medicines from the C-sections. I had yeast infections all the time. I had UTIs. I mean, all those things, antibiotics. I had no idea that how bad those are for you, but anyways, so that starts in December of this. So six years ago, this past December, that's when I woke up one morning and my left ankle leg was like ballooned up. I didn't know what was going on. I was fine the night before I wasn't fine in the morning. Um, so we kind of watched it for a, for a day. We thought maybe I got bit by a spider. We lived in lower Alabama. There's all sorts of creepy crawlies. And so who knew? Um, but the next day it was worse. So we went to the emergency room. I did all the tests. It took all day long. Finally, they're just like, I don't know what's wrong. We think you must have an infection of some sort. Take the steroid, take this antibiotic, you'll be fine. And I was like three days later that everything had kicked in and I felt totally fine. Um, but when my steroid ran out, it was obvious that I was completely not fine. So all the swelling came back and not only that leg and my right leg, I had pain in my, my neck, my shoulders, my hands, my joints, like everything was starting to like, just go crazy on me. Um, I, I had my baby who was five months old. I couldn't even like pick her up. My, my hands hurt so badly. Um, and so we went to a different hospital, tried some other things. Uh, I got diagnosed with plantar fasciitis, which is really laughable at this point. I also got diagnosed with cellulitis, which I had no wounds or anything like that. So it was just like a lot of stabs in the dark. People didn't know what was going on. And so it was really scary when you, your body just starts revolting on you and the specialists don't even know what's happening. And that's kind of where I was. And that was my journey for the next several months. So when I finally decided to try, um, Plexus. I had been watching my upline Joanna at that time. She was like a gold ambassador. We were childhood friends. I knew she was sharing about it. I knew it looked good, but I honestly, until I woke up that day feeling horrible, I didn't know I was like not healthy. Like I literally just took gummy prenatal vitamins. I did an emergency packet. If we got a cold, like that was the extent of my wellness regimen. And so yeah, I didn't realize how horrible like my body really was because it was finally like all the junk on the inside was finally showing up on the outside. And that's when my autoimmune disease started happening outside where I could see it. So anyways, finally, long, long story short, I was diagnosed with an, a chronic autoimmune disease. And the doctor said, you're going to have to stop nursing your baby. I think she was about seven months by this point, almost eight months. And, um, it was not a nursing friendly prescription that he was giving me, but I had been on steroids now for several months. And he said, you can't live on those. And so, um, I just remember going out to the car and being just so devastated that I was going to have to quit nursing. She literally, that's all she, I mean, she was not taking any table food at that point. Um, and I'd always nurse my baby. So it was just a big deal. And I knew that she was my last baby as well. So it was just like one of those things, but also like, I, at 28 years old at that time, didn't want to live on medication the rest of my life. I knew that wasn't good for a long term. Um, and so I just started praying that the Lord would show us something natural. And I had friends on Facebook sharing like tips and tricks. I did intravenous therapies. I did other supplements for a little while. And then finally I decided to try. And I remember telling my husband, like, don't tell anyone I'm ordering these. My, my husband knew my mom had moved in with us to help with the three little ones. So she knew. And in fact, she was the one that was like, look, I see Joanne all over your Facebook. Cause she like snoops in my Facebook. She doesn't want her own. She uses mine. So she's like, I see Joanna posting all the time. Like she knows what she's talking about. You should just check it out. Like just try it. And a church. So we were itinerant in the ministry at that point. So we traveled all over the U S um, speaking and things. So a church actually sent us $500 for me to try something natural. And that is what I took to buy the triplex combo. And then I did three bottles of ease in my first order. And so I did, um, triplex every single day and I did four ease before every meal. So 12 ease a day on an empty stomach. 
And I didn't really have a lot of hope that it was going to do anything because I had been taking other vitamins and it had ne- I had not seen any improvement. So my hope levels were like way low, but I was just like, Hey, money back guarantee. Like that was the only reason my husband was like, you can try it because there was that guarantee to get that back. Um, and so I gave it a go and I was the kind of person that like, if I'm going to spend my money, I'm doing it. I'm not going to miss a day. I'm going to, to if this is going to work for me, like I'm going to make sure it has a chance. Um, so about month two, I remember taking a picture. Maybe you've seen my, a lot of people in Texas get these flattering, like before and after like cute pictures. And I have like my feet, like so not flattering, but anyway, so I had this feet picture before and after. And I sent that very before and after to Joanna and was like, look at my legs, my feet, they look like completely different person. Like I'm feeling so much better. Um, and that was month two. So I was just heading into my third month. And by month four, I would say a lot of the chronic, like aching and just soreness from my joints, I noticed that was going away. And so it took a, you know, a good four months before I was actually like, I completely feel like I'm, I'm getting better. And so a lot of people, you know, they quit after their first month or they quit at, at even month two. If I had quit even in month, you know, one or two, I would not have seen the changes that continue to happen in my body. So that was my journey in Plexus. After that, I did start sharing. Um, and I just posted that before and after, and I was like, thank you guys all for praying for me. I found this stuff that works and it's really helping me. I just keep praying. It continues to help me, whatever. That was like my first post. Um, and I went silver like that day. Um, and then that journey kind of went into like eight months of like, I'm really busy. I don't want to be that girl. Don't really want to share. So that was April when I made my first post. December of that year, my husband and I, again, we're back on the um, traveling for ministry. And he's like, you know, if you wanted to make a go of this business, like you would, you would kill at it, but you're just worried about what everyone's saying about you. And they're not even, we don't even know if they're saying anything. And I was like, yeah, but your family has, you know, blogged me on Facebook and said things. And I just don't want to bother people. And he's like, well, you have my permission because until they send us a paycheck for our bills every month, their opinion doesn't have to matter for us. Like, just take that and know that I'm back. I'm behind you and you can do this because you can talk to a fence post. If you want to talk to somebody, you can do it. Cause I just like talking to people. And so with his not permission, but like knowing that he was behind me, that is kind of what fueled me to just really be like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it for real. I'm not just going to mess around posting once a month, having excuses. I'm going to do this. And then I went to super Saturday when they did the super Saturday pockets all around the country as a silver by myself. Like I didn't know anyone there and it it just inspired me so much. I know we just got home from super Saturday and it's just always such an inspiring event. If you don't go, you should try to go in person, but just be on the training, watch the trainings. They're so amazing. And for me, it just showed me like the potential with Plexus, like silver stars. I didn't even know that was a thing. And I went on to earn that trip. Like the of course, like hitting jewel status. I didn't, I wasn't even dreaming that I just wanted to go gold. Like at that point, gold was a big deal. Um, anyway, so I got home from super Saturday, all inspired. And I went gold that month and then four months later, senior gold. And, and then I earned the cruise and the top shopping spree as a senior gold. Um, so if you're sitting here working on convention contest as a gold or a senior gold, don't let that hold you back. There is no limit. If you want to do this, like there's a way for you to do it. Like, don't let that rank or that points that you see right now in your back office hold you back because those are just numbers and those numbers can change so fast. Um, so then I went, well, let's see, senior gold, four months later, Ruby. And then about five months later, senior Ruby, a year later, I went Emerald and two months later, I went Sapphire. So that's been my, that was my journey is like three years from start to Sapphire. Um, and so, and of course just working on getting to diamond now, like just building up new leaders and growing. And there's always that that spot in the road where you're just regrouping, growing your leadership. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, But I'm praying for Diamond this year. That is my goal. Um, So that's kind of the journey. I love the products. My belief is so strong because these products work not only for me, they've worked for, I mean, everyone on my team loves them. And when you share a product that works, you can tell like people can see that. Um, So we have a really special opportunity and we're not selling makeup or spatulas. Like we're selling things that change lives. And that's, it's so inspiring to me. And I'm thankful the Lord gave me the opportunity that I wasn't looking for because I, I would be out there selling makeup or spatulas if I wasn't doing plexus. So I'm just thankful he like kind of shoved it in my lap and said, this is it for you. Um, but that's my journey from starting the products to feeling better. And, and also a PS I've been in remission. I've never been back to a specialist 
and I have never had any more issues with that supposedly lifelong illness that I was diagnosed with. So I'm very thankful. Katie, thank you so much for sharing. I have one quick question. What did you do before Plexus? Were you just like a homemaker with the kids or did you do something else for a job? Yeah, I had kids. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had, <laughs> like we got married and then we had our first four in a week before our, our first anniversary. Oh my God. Uh, like seven months later and then I got pregnant seven months later, like basically like after every kid I had like a few months and then I was pregnant again. And then since I had such awful pregnancies, we just decided to have three and that was it. So uh, we did travel pretty full time in ministry. So I played the piano on uh, my kids and I, we sing, um, my husband speaks. So we did camps, we did uh, like revival meetings around the country. Um, that was kind of what we did as a family. And that's, that's just what we, yeah. So, so awesome. Up at up in the comments, I dropped Katie's Instagram follower. She does the best reels, makeup, clothes, cooking, all the things. Love her little like life hacks. Even when it comes to like dermaplaning your face. I just love following Katie. I followed her before I even met her in person and she's just super inspirational. So thank you, Katie, for joining us tonight. We have another guest speaker. And she is our very own Lexi Yaki. Lexi is a senior Ruby ambassador, has been with Plexus for over two years, has had some high highs in her business and some low lows. And I think we can all be inspired by her. I know I am every single day. Um, I've loved having her in my downline. I love pouring into her. And I know she has some super awesome things to share with us tonight. Lexi is killing this year. Um, she added 14 people last month and just today earned her second Lululemon gift card. Um, so clearly something she's doing is working and I think we can all glean a little bit of something from her. So Lexi, I'm going to give it over to you. Um, so what I really wanted to touch on today was, um, as many of you know, I took a pretty long break, um, felt like an entire year for me, um, but it started in July. Um, I, I think it was a few days after I came back from Jamaica, I announced that, you know, I needed to take a break. Um, it was a really hard decision to make, but I just was not in the right headspace. Um, I couldn't even take care of myself, so how could I take care of you know, my entire team um, and others. So I decided at that time it was best for me. Um, I felt so alone, um, like I didn't have anyone. Um, so it was a really hard time for me. Um, and I just really needed to take that break. Um, come October, I attended a wedding. I've never talked to this person before. And this person came up to me and said, um, oh, you're that gut health girl. Um, I haven't seen you on social media or your stories. Uh, I really miss your face. You really helped um, me start my day positive, um, gave me that light that I needed to um, keep going and you helped motivated me. Um, and you know, what is supposed to be happy? I cried. I had to go to the bathroom because I don't know who this person is. And I was just at a wedding and they came up to me and told me this. So at the end of October, I started to try to share again. It wasn't as consistent, um, but come November, I started again. But I realized this time around, it needed to be different. Um, working full time um, is hard. Most nights it's 12 hours. And what I do full time is very mentally and physically involved. So to do that as well as do my business is hard. So I really have to put that balance in, um, in place. And uh, what that person told me, I really had to take a step back to when, you know, I decided to come back all in was, you know, I need to wipe my tears. I need to do this for them as much as I want to do it for me. And I, you know, the money is nice, the trip is nice, the prizes are nice, I'm doing this for them. So ever since coming back, I think what makes my comeback stronger is I'm doing this for them. And I'm continually pouring into everyone and showing them that this is for you. I'm not doing this for me. 
when I'm in my stories, I'm raw and vulner vulnerable. Um, you know, December and January, I had three very personal close loss. And even though I've lost, you know, three people passed away in my life, I still had to show up because, you know, they need me at those raw moments. And as much as I hate sharing my personal life, I knew that's something that they needed. And I was very close off to share about my mental health, but mental health is something we need to be sharing about and how much our products can help with. Because when I started products, I, when I was feeling so sick with um, my ulcerative colitis, I wanted to die. And I remember praying to God that I just wanted to die. So sharing those vulnerable moments and showing our customers it's about them is really what I feel has helped me with my comeback even stronger. And many people that I've never met before or even associated with on Facebook have came to me saying, you know, I know other people who do plexus, but I'm coming to you because you're genuine. You share all the hard times and not just the good times because they said in other companies, all you see is just the good times and they want to see those bad times. So I think really focusing on it's about them and putting our needs in the back burner is what's really going to help everyone thrive. Lexi, <laughs> seriously, your consistency is amazing. Um, and I think that's one of the huge things. I think Emily just said it. Consistency is what, I mean, like they come to you because they see you every day and they know that you're doing plexus. So like we talked a little bit back and forth in voice messages earlier this week and I said, like, I don't know how many of you did the Emily Gibson training ignite week that she did recently, but she talked about how, like back in the day, they used to say it was like, you had to see posts or have things in your face seven or eight times before committing. Now it's like 12 times or something like that. And our Facebook algorithms are so messed up and our Instagram algorithm is so messed up that people aren't seeing the thing. So like, even though you feel like you're saying the same thing over and over again, it's okay. Cause not everyone's seeing it every time that you put it out there. And clearly people are seeing your things, Lexi, you're absolutely killing it. I just have to say, we love you so much. It was so hard. Absolutely killed me when you said you were taking a break, but we are like beyond thrilled to have you back. Our team is not the same without you. We love you and we need you. And you're a huge part of our community. So thanks for sharing your story tonight. I'm not going to cry anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. We're going to move on to something super exciting guys. I'm going to talk about greens. Um, how many of you take greens drop in the comments. If you take greens, if you don't, I'm going to come after you. Cause I was one of those people that it was like, I've tried other green supplements. They're disgusting. I don't even if I like find a shred of lettuce on my taco, I'm like gagging and spinning it out. So I was not about to try greens, but I did because of course everything Plexus does is amazing and alone. It's not that great, but mix it in with your active or your slim or your hydrate. And it's so good. I love like drinking it through a straw and just drinking it. It's good. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of it. Drinking greens or a green supplement does not necessarily replace the value of eating fruits and vegetables. Those are still important. I'm not saying drink multiple scoops of greens. You really should only drink one a day and they're okay for children ages four and up to have one serving a day. But some of the benefits are that it just fills the nutrients gaps because I think only 15% of people in the U S get the two and a half cups of vegetables and two cups of fruit that are recommended according to the guidelines. So it just fills those gaps. It, some of the things that are important about our greens is that it has fermented fruits and vegetables, insoluble oat fiber. Fiber is super important for your digestion and gut health. So ours has that. And also it has a powerful kombucha and green tea extract superfood blend in it. And you would have to eat and drink a lot of things that have a lot of sugar and calories and carbs if you wanted to get all the benefits of just one scoop of our greens. So one of the things that I thought was really interesting when I was doing more research and reading about greens was that 
Plexus promotes it kind of like, don't let a busy schedule keep you from better health. Like it's so easy to just add a scoop of greens into a smoothie or a smoothie bowl or a protein shake or your pink drink. And you really have no excuse, even that you're busy because we're all busy to make your health a priority. So, um, I think those are the main things that I have about greens. Does anyone have any questions or comments? I know Katie and Lexi are both still here. We are quick and on time tonight, Emily. Oh, you are awesome. Add? Somebody have a question? I swear I just heard Lindsay's voice. Is that Lindsay? No? Okay, well, I take my greens with active and I actually reached out to our research and development team and I was like, how do I do that? I want to be the best because, you know, typical Enneagram three, I got to be the best at this. So tell me how to be the best at greens. <laughs> and so they said, um, you could actually take your greens, uh, before each meal. Like if you are really, really sick, um, if you are recovering after a surgery and you need extra fiber to help, um, like, you know, painkillers can back you up. Um, if for example, we were on vacation for two weeks when we were homeless and we had like Taco Bell and Whataburger and all this fast food. And I was like, if I have to see another drive through I might lose my mind. Um, and so coming home and having greens before every meal, really, not only do they make you like feel you up, but I felt so good. I felt clear headed. Um, and I just love that they don't taste like crap. I love that Leah mentioned she picks lettuce off her tacos because it reminds me of my children. So a fun thing that I like to do with our greens is I sprinkle it in our spaghetti sauce. I don't do a whole scoop. I do half a scoop because it is sweet, but this is, you know what, you know what I used to do? I used to do this with ketchup and my spaghetti sauce. My Italian friends don't come for me. Don't come for me. That's how I was taught. So I'm not doing that anymore. And now I sprinkle half a thing of greens and I'm getting that in there because my kids love spaghetti and they love like marinara and stuff like that. So, um, I saw another mom do that and I'm like, you know, but not our, it was some other brand of greens that probably tastes really bad. So ours actually tastes good. I sprinkle it in that way. A lot of you like to mix it with our vanilla lean. Um, a lot of you throw spinach and stuff into your shakes. You don't have to do that. You can add a scoop of greens and isn't it, um, I don't think no collagens are product of the quarter. I'm thinking of last quarter. I think it was last quarter, but you can, um, add green to your subscription. You could, uh, order it, try it, take shots of greens in your stories, look super healthy. Tell everybody it's wheatgrass and lie, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, it's good for you. Do it. Does anybody have any questions about greens? If your children are listening, sorry, if I ruined pasta night for y'all, cause they're going to be like, <laughs> I know I'm resetting to them on day two. That's why I'm talking about food. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to close this out in prayer because y'all, y'all killed it. Thank you so much, Katie. Thank you, Leah. Everyone told Leah, thank you, because she always is a nervous wreck before these Zooms and she just is fabulous and so just uplifting. And I love seeing y'all's faces. Lexi, I'm so proud of you. Um, I've never had a chance to see you do anything like this before. So, um, I love that Katie said, you know, way to rise up in leadership. I mean, you recognize something in your, in your health and you're like, I need to take a step back and reflect. And there's nothing better than a little self-awareness. Um, Benita Nat bought the t-shirt. So, so proud of you and Leah for just leading zooms because you've grown because I used to like literally be like, look, I'll pay $50, a hundred dollars, $5,000. And Leah would be like, hard pass, not leading Zooms. So we're all growing over here. Welcome to the growth party. Okay. All right. Um, let's pray. And you guys have a great week. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this awesome, awesome group of women. You just know how to pull a community together, uh, your little nudges and God winks, whether it's through social media, a friend at the gym, at church, you just show up and provide people in our lives and bless us with relationships that we just didn't know we, we needed. Thank you for sending us in Jesus to die on the cross and to save us from ourselves. Uh, cause we're a mess, um, from mental health to heart health to sin nature. Lord, you are there every step of the way. I don't know what anybody is dealing with right now or going through, but you do, you know, every hair on their head, you know, every star in the sky. So Lord be with them tonight, bring them peace of mind and comfort. I pray that everyone would have a fantastic rest of the week in your precious name. I pray. Amen. Love you. Mean it. Y'all have a great week and I'll see you next Tuesday.